Today in our 2011 Subaru Forester, we're going to be test fitting the Kuat NV 2.0 2 bike rack, part number NV22G. We already have a bike installed on the rack. Let's go ahead and take a closer look and show off some of the features. Now, the first and most prominent feature of this bike rack is the fact that it can tilt away from the vehicle with the bike still attached. To do that, we'll hold on to the bike rack as we do this, push in on this tab, and let it come down gently. And now we have full access to our rear hatch to get whatever we need. Now to put it back in its original position, just lift up on the bike rack, never the bike, and you hear that click and it's locked into place. Now how this actually attaches to the rack, we're going to have two points of contact with no frame contact at all. Instead we'll have this padded wheel hook up at the front and this wheel strap at the rear which can be adjusted along the arm here to accommodate different sized bikes. And we also have an integrated cable lock here at the end of this arm as well, as well as that arm. Let's go ahead and take the bike off and set it aside. We'll loosen up the wheel strap in the rear first by pushing it on the tab. And you can see it does move. And then with the wheel hook up at the front, we want to make sure we're holding on to the bike because we don't want it to fall into the vehicle once we release it. We'll push the trigger at the top of the wheel hook, push up, and away. Fold that back up. Now with the bike rack in this position, I'm going to go ahead and give you a couple quick measurements. Measuring from the edge of the bumper to our outer edge here, we've added about 28 and a half inches to the rear of the vehicle. For our ground clearance, that's going to be about 20 inches, and our closest point is going to be about 5 inches to this edge here. And that same measurement from the center of the hitch pinhole, it's going to be about 11 and a half inches. So just keep that in mind when you have different style hitches installed on your vehicle that come either further out or go further in. Now for issue, for Instances when you have to park or put it in your garage, you're going to need a little extra clearance so this does fold up. Again, pull on that tab and just push up when you hear that click again. Again, measuring from the edge of the bumper, now we've only added about 11 inches to the rear of the vehicle, so that's made quite a bit of difference. And our closest point is going to be the arm here, but no matter how much we shake it, it's not going to make contact with that bumper. Also, I'd like to point out with it in this position is that this does have a station here where you can lift this up and actually grip your bike in this portion here so you can work on it after you're done riding or before you ride. How this attaches to the hitch, we actually have a locking pin on the inside and this anti-rattle knob at the end. You turn to the right to tighten it up and that'll take out the shake and play in the shank and make for a much smoother ride. And there you have it for the Kuat NV 2.0 2 bike rack, part number NV22G, on our 2011 Subaru Forester. First we'll take it onto our slalom course. This will show you the side to side action, such as making turns or evasive maneuvers. Now we're at the alternating speed bumps. This will show you how it looks driving on uneven pavement or potholes. Finally, we're at the solid speed bumps, which simulates going into your driveway or parking lots. Click the link below to shop, learn more, or visit us at eTrailer.com.